hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel if you are seeing the screen then you know which video we're gonna continue yes as i told you in previous video this is the part two of th ingolstadt for the course international automotive engineering we did a part one video of application with premise uh, campus it where you have to create your own account and check for the course uh, overview and which course you are applying for and we read the hints thoroughly and also we also looked for or applied for type of study that we want to pursue we selected for full st full time study today as i told you in the part 2 i will deep dive into additional questions and other uh, advanced up, uh, advanced approval and more about colleges and other bachelor degree and other information that we have to give if you are new to this channel then don't forget to like share and subscribe and Please also share this video with the people who are in need so that they can also look into videos and yeah, they can apply from them, themselves and also they can get in master degree courses which they like in Germany. Without any further ado, we'll jump into it. As I told you, I took some time and also filled the additional questions that they have asked for when you're registering for international automotive engineering. The first thing they asked for, like, uh, are you willing to confirm that all indicated previous study periods, it is not the case then it may be included so i'm aware of that yes you just agree on it then how did you become aware of ingolstadt so there are so many other options but i it didn't make sense because i own uh, uh, we we know by ourselves or dad website so there is no dad list here that's the reason i clicked on other then i am aware that only one account per person is allowed so that's the reason i said yes okay then the following information will be helped them to uh, assess the your application then also aptitude assessment uh, committee assess your profile so this is the reason uh, they asked ask which degree have you completed i just selected bachelor of engineering and also this time when i am looking for it there is an option bachelor of engineering and bachelor of technology i looked into my degree certificate and check for the name and it was mentioned bachelor of engineering that's the reason i'm giving bachelor of engineering people who are in still in confusion please look into their college or uh, degree certificate and give whatever is mentioned there then in which engineering field that i pursued i pursued in electrical engineering that's what i've given then enter your university website address then i have entered my uh, video website here then what are the projects and courses competitions publications etc have you done beyond your coursework for just for your understanding i have just given one project which i have worked on uh, as in co-curricular activity smart so smart home using iot and i have done like numerous amount of publications that i have done because i used to uh, i used to publish so many papers because i was interested in research papers uh, in publications because and also we had this committee where it was combined or together working with ieee so we were usually uh didn't wanted to pay anything so we just have to publish it if it is accepted by ieee it was sponsored by our college that's the reason uh i it helped me to publish more so yeah i have so many things but just for your information to fill i have filled in the projects and uh, other things so but you got an idea what you have to fill it here then what is your professional focus on your bachelor diploma so this will be your what are the skills and things what is your strong fields that you have in your professional focus of your bachelor degree so for me the usual things would be i look into my bachelor this is on which area i focused on so this is the automation embedded system and control system are my major fields in my bachelor degree that's the reason i have given it so this might vary with the people everyone so please mention whichever the professional focus that you are interested or you were liking in the bachelor degree and also what you have put that professional focus in your bachelor uh, thesis if you have completed an industrial internship then which kind of industry that you have done so i did it in control system kind of uh, industry which is called i think lnt you guys know so yeah i did it there then what engineering software that you know if you know catia and other things so the engineering software that i know is matlab and simulink so because my bachelor thesis also was done completely in matlab and simulink that's the reason i have given there but these information i am just given you to give an idea what you can fill it but this information will vary from person to person then the following uh, information are intent to international applicants so i just take on yes then information about uniasis then they have mentioned that yes if you are applying for a bachelor degree and your ects is in cgpa or some other grading system you, you have to apply for vpd which we already know and we already applied and we have got the vpd that's what we are thinking before applying and that's the reason you can just have to say yes yes i have taken into consideration and we have also applied for vpd already and if you have chosen the degree program that has an aptitude test which is this please also note the information does not apply part-time degree programs at campus continuing education so this is fine so here you just have to take an uh, consideration of yes you thinking that you know that if 
your ECTS is below level then there will be a aptitude test given by this particular course and we know that there is an aptitude test for this particular course that's why I was telling yes we are agree and we know the application procedure how you guys gonna do it then if we come from the company with the APS certificate is there then the please note information yes we will be knowing that we are coming from APS uh, country so it is mentioned here that's the reason we have to give it yes here then service fees for the students so they have then from the winter semester 2024 2025 technical university ingolstadt are charging 500 euros per semester as a uh, student fees or service fees so this usually fall under public university is it like service tax or service fees which will be included with your student union fees of 572 so altogether it will count it to 572 but here you can also get a travel ticket entire bavaria as of now it is valid entire germany but if entire germany ticket is cancelled then it will be valid for your bavaria ticket also so no need to worry then no 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 fees for german or other guys who did it in eu eu nations so after reading this then please make sure that you have taken into account and click on yes then information about an additional 30 ects so they are asking for bachelor degree program at least two tennis ECTS and if you get an uh, overall of 180 ECTS and how you will compensate the other 30 ECTS so the task must be corresponding in the field of chosen master degree so they are saying you can also give professional experience official employment reference containing your simple employment reference what you have worked and other things or if you want to give an internship proof then it should be at least 20 weeks which will be your uh, half, a, half a semester of uh, internship so usually if you do an internship then you will do it for six, um, six months so then it will be correct so as I told you in numerous amount of videos if your ECTS is not 210 you are below that and if college is asking 210 ECTS then you can include or that prove that additional 30 ECTS by your internship work experience from your projects publication all other co-curricular activities so the here you can just make sure yes i am aware of it then people also asked me how to get to know that 210 ECTS how to convert it so usually the better and best part to do it apply for vpd you will get a vpd where they would have mentioned everything so usually if you apply for one college or one time vpd you can apply for numerous amount of colleges but from the side of in a indian degree if you apply for once vpd the information about vpd won't change for each particular college so it will be the same so please apply once for your vpd if you are applying for any german college then you will get an idea about what is it ects and what is, how much ects that you have done and what are the other extra cat, uh, things that you need to cope up with the ECTS that you have to do then what is your German GPA everything will be covered in one single document which is VPD then that's the reason I said I am aware of that then we can click on save after that uh, advanced ad approval so if you have received a study place at our university beginning of during the uh, your service voluntary military service blah 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 but we are unable to take advantage due to service you can apply preferred admission of same degree program at the university by the second allocation procedure so this would be you can click on yes but you are not into any of vocational military service federal uh, yeah please click on no then if you get it once if you can't go it then apply again you will get it so no need to worry so you can click on save then you can continue then graduation so you will be automatically forwarded in four seconds further now we have filled in all our personal details which are the things that we have to do edit our degree program and all other things are there so the usually so we have done our personal details and we filled our personal details you can just see after that we also did it our uh, address which i have filled it in the previous video so that's why it is already there so i'm just quickly explained to you then after address you can click on save here you can just see i have health insurance they'll ask so i am application from abroad at, at the moment i don't have any health insurance but as soon as i get the admission after coming to germany i will have my health insurance then email address that we are registered then you can click on that then occasional training if you have completed any vocational training here in germany then fill it otherwise you can click on save then have you ever uh, undergone any military services no then you can click on save then special application if you need so we are well and good uh, well fit and good that's the reason we are not any special application so you can click on no then final questions will be what are the indication legal uh, punished you are there so you have you punished with legal notice and all no then have you you are suffering from any of the illnesses then you can click on no then you can click on save then your uh, graduation or your en enter all master data then you can click on further now you need to fill in your personal information about previous studies that you have to give so you can click on information about previous studies here you can just see 
you will have preliminary studies german preliminary studies or german uh, foreign preliminary studies the one which we are there is foreign preliminary studies you can click on add a degree program then you can fill in the details that i have filled in so you as soon as you clicked on add then you will be asked for foreign preliminary studies that you have done so country of study will be india then name of the university will be vtu course electrical engineering baseline is from when to when you did then number of semester which i have taken which is eight semester then number of leave, leave semester that i have taken zero then degree program will be bachelor degree reason of termination passed in short term note if you want to give any note what are the things that you have done so give that then achie achievable ects will be 200 so usually the ects and credit points will be mapped one to one so that's the reason 200 if your degree program is ec ects free then don't take any confusion just fill it zero so they have only mentioned if your degree program has is, is not ects then click on zero then they will only look into vpd and put it here then you can click on save this is your one foreign preliminary studies that's how you can fill in one more thing then you can click on ready then you are ready to submit the application after all this you have filled in your personal details what are the things that you are good at and you have also filled in your bachelor degree details second puc details language certificates other than other things like that then you have to click on upload documents and upload all necessary documents that they have asked for here here they have asked for documents for aps certificate and the period will be uh, until enrollment you have time and some people ask if they have to upload ips document in the application itself or after getting an admission until enrollment so here for this particular college i can just strongly suggest aps certificate is not yet not is not mandatory at the time of application deadline so it is mandatory when you enroll so as soon as you get the admission then you need to have a aps either way you know to get your visa so they are giving some time until the enrollment that is good but aptitude test expertise automotive sector then you have to click on upload and select the uh, document there then for aptitude test proof of practical experience other uh, all other practical experience which in the automotive sector which you have done please upload that document uh, proof uh, for ap aptitude test proof of thesis in automotive sector please give you the uh, automotive sector so for ap uh, aptitude test they will look into all those things what are these expertise in automotive sector this will be your project or other things which we already looked in the hints also then you here you need to give your internship or experience professional experience that you have then the proof of thesis in automotive sector and the project working or automotive uh, scientific project that you have done then proof of additional 30 ects additional if you have to give then please give uh, proof of 30 uh, additional uh, ects of document then proof of your english language b2 which will be your il6 6.5 then grade sheet of average grade which will be your bachelor degree certificate with your transcript then vpd uni assist you have to upload you can just see here most of the documents has to be submitted before first january only the il certificate and the aps certificate can be submitted after getting admission also that is one main thing that i wanted to tell you then you can go back and click on submit application as soon as you clicked on submit application you have submitted the application then thank you so much for watching this video until here i have showed you and told you what how it is done and what are the things that you need to fill here the main takeaway from this application is you have from in tu ingolstadt you don't need to upload the vpd when you are submitting application for tuh ingolstadt for this particular course that is one takeaway thank you so much for watching this video until here see you next video next video will be our some college for requirement analysis and also i will keep track on our excel sheet if any college is open then i will make a video on how to apply thank you so much see you next video until then take care bye bye